I've been thinking about rice bags and Shakespeare. It is currently 12.35 a.m. on September 3rd, as of me filming this. I spent the first half of today being in too much pain to be able to move much, so I couldn't film a video then. Uh, that is where the rice bag comes in. This is a uh, microwavable heating pad, basically. It's a bag of rice. You put it in the microwave, you know, heat it up. Forget that that means it'll be hot and then hurt your hand. Hey, hey, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Guess that's the job. Just use it like a heating pad. Um, I specifically was having issues with my lower abdomen, uh, so I don't have footage of me using this on that because that's not a part of the body I'm gonna... So that was my first half of the day. Uh, being in a lot of pain, not able to physically move around much, not abnormal for my life, but still not fun. But the second half of the day, that's the kicker. My physical body is feeling better, but mentally a bit of a downward spiral. Unfortunately, rice bag doesn't seem to work on brain. And I think that's why I've been thinking about Billy Shakes. Earlier this year, I was in a show called The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, abridged, revised again. Maybe I'll talk about it more later this month. But the conceit of the show is that it's three actors trying to put on all of Shakespeare's works in roughly 90 minutes. And there was a part of the show where I got to do a monologue from Hamlet. And it's stuck with me. And it's a monologue I was familiar with before being in the show, but now that I know it, when I have moments when I'm really struggling with mental health, specifically depression, it comes to me. It goes, I have of late, but wherefore I know not, lost all my mirth, forgone all custom of exercise, and indeed it goes so heavy with my disposition that this goodly frame, the earth, seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air, Look, you, this brave o'er-hanging firmament, this majestical roof fretted with golden fire. Why, it appeareth no other thing to me than a foul and pestilent congregation of vapors. What a piece of work is man. How noble in reason, how infinite in faculty, in form and moving, how express and admirable, in action, how like an angel, in apprehension, how like a god the beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. And yet to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me. That monologue just lives in my brain now. And I think it's cause for me, I'm like, yep, that's depression. I can see how beautiful the world is but I don't really see it. I guess it's that I know that the world is beautiful and I'm aware that there are things in the world that can bring me joy, but for some reason, I am just disconnected from it. The things that I once looked at and saw wonderful, I see dust. The things that once sparked some sort of happiness in me, I feel numb. And when you're in that kind of brain space, it makes it hard to create things. Maybe if I keep trying, this will work eventually. While Shakespeare was able to capture what depression feels like for me, as far as getting through it, I look closer to home for some wisdom. Caleb is doing VODs this month so he can better pace himself and take care of himself. Seeing him talk about that so candidly and explain it just reminds me that it's okay for me to do that as well, if need be, which helps takes the stress off. For beds. And I'm not going to get the wording right, because how can one put it more beautifully than Alicia? But sometimes it's just about maintaining the physical form. You know, we eat and we drink and we keep things going and we prepare until our soul is able to return to us. My day didn't go the way I had maybe hoped for it to, but I managed my pain and I watched a lot of really great videos and I waited. And then now at 12.47, oofda, um, my brain got back to a place where I could film a video. And I know if it didn't get to a place, 
it would have been okay. That's part of the joy of not having a plan this year. And for the in-between, we have rice bags and Shakespeare and very good friends. To my friends and fellow Betsies, I'll see you tomorrow.